Hi, let me present the other features that STM32L4 offers. So what else? Among other features, internal reference voltage buffer can provide stable reference for analog to digital and digital to analog converter and can be output on VRF plus pin for application needs. There are two voltages available, 2.048 volt when analog supply voltage is above 2.4 volts or 2.5 volt when the analog supply is above 2.8 volt. The flash interface is 64 bit wide. On top 8 bits are added for error checking and correction mechanism. The ECC can correct one mistake with an interrupt generated or detect two mistakes with a non-mescable interrupt available. Maximum flash speed without wait states depends on supply voltage and it's 16 MHz in range 1 or 6 MHz in range 2. The flash memory up to 1 MB is divided in two banks of 512 KB each with a read while write capability. The GPIOs offer analog input as a default configuration after power on and reset, reducing current consumption. In standby mode, the pull up and pull down resistors can be turned on to guarantee safe voltage levels on selected GPIOs. Further, four programmable voltage detectors with fixed thresholds are implemented and connected to external interrupt unit. These are connected to the analog supply, digital supply, the supply for the I.O. ring number two and for the USB supply input and allows safe voltage domain turn on and turn off when STM32L4 is supplied from independent voltage sources. These programmable voltage detectors are by default turned off except the programmable voltage detector connected to the digital supply line. The resident clock controller offers additional low speed clock output from low speed internal RC oscillator or from the low speed external precise crystal oscillator. Window Watchdog offers an early wake up function. When the counter is one step above reset, an interrupt can be served to prevent the system reset in sleep mode. 